Hey guys, today we've got a battle of the barrels. Hey guys, welcome back to F&G Whiskey. So today we've got a battle of the barrels for you. This is uh, Russell's Reserve um, single barrels. These are all store picks. I ordered one online, that's the old label, and then I got the other two here in Colorado. So two of them are nine year old and one is an eight year old. They're all 110 proof. So I just wanted to kind of go through and see if I can notice a difference. Um, the fact that two of them are the same age, be really interesting to see if there's any difference here. So let's get into it. I get that wild turkey funk that we all know of. So dusty, almost dusty oak in a sense. That one's light on the palate, but it's got good, good flavor. So I'm just going to go through these once, just kind of review what I'm getting. And then I'm going to really try to hammer down which ones I like better. Mm, that one's got more barrel spice. This one had a little bit more vanilla. This one's got a little bit more barrel spice. And again, I do not know what order these are in. Mm. So this one's got a little bit more of an ethanol kick. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Right now I would go one, two, three. But I think this one has a little bit more flavor than this one. So we'll see how it changes. Let's go back to this one. He's been sitting in the glass for a little bit. As you can see, I put a pretty good dent in all three of these. Yeah, you get that vanilla, you get that wild turkey funk kind of flavor. Um, kind of a dusty note is what the way I can explain it. Um, but still, there's that ethanol kind of kick to it. This one's got a little bit more of a rush of a flavor up at the, at the beginning of it. And it's kind of a sweet vanilla note with oak. Um, and then it kind of trails back and you get that, almost that Kentucky hug feel of that spicy oak flavor. It's really interesting. And there's a little, little lingering of vanilla. Usually I get a little bit more cherry on these. I don't know why today I'm not really getting much cherry. But I will say on these batches, I've gotten less cherry. In the past, I've got more of a cherry note on some of my wild turkey stuff. This one is just very, very soft. Um, it's not bold at all. This one's a lot more bold punch of flavor up front. This one kind of coats over the palate and just kind of has a steady ride. So it, it's going to be really tough between these two. Go a little bit more on this one. Let's go back to this one. See which one's gonna take the win. Yeah, this one has kind of mellowed out as I've sipped, up, sipped on the three. Um, I like the punch of flavor, the, the barrel spice, and I think that I would go, this is my one, this would be two, and this would be three. So let's kind of figure out what these are. In first place was the new nine year. So that is going to be this one here. 
and that's very interesting. Okay, so that's first place. Second place is the old label. So this is the other nine year. So in last place was the more ethanol forward was the eight year. That's really interesting. So older prevailed on this. Um, let me see. Yeah, this one is like about four or five days older than this one. They're very, very similar. This one just had a little bit more of an ethanol kick that didn't make it as, as smooth of, of a ride as the other ones. So heavy punch, but evened out as you drink it. This one was just kind of steady the whole way. And then this one just had that ethanol kick. So yeah, really interesting. Battle of the Barrels, the oldest barrel one um, in this case. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how it goes forward. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. And um, trying to build that whiskey community. So Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, hit me up. And maybe we can swap samples or uh, get some community dialogue going. But uh, yeah, keep searching for that perfect pour. Thanks, guys.